All right, today is pepper picking day. A lot of the peppers are starting to turn yellow and a lot of them are so big now that uh, they'll change if I just let them sit on my counter for a little while. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick all these big peppers here off the plant and it will give some time for these little ones like this to uh, finish maturing. This plant over here is the one that had a whole bunch on them underneath. Just holding the plant up and just rotating the peppers up like that so it doesn't pull up any of the plant. I'll leave that one. Just from two plants, I got almost a full basket of peppers. Most of these are green, but they'll, they'll change colors. See, this one's already starting a little bit. There's still a couple little small ones on here that maybe we'll be able to get. Next few weeks are still gonna be pretty mild here. What I do is I like to cut these up. I have a little chopper. I just can cut them in half and put them in my little chopper. And it chops them into the pieces that I want them to be, size-wise, small or big. And I usually like to make like an unstuffed bell pepper or some soup with it, or you can just put it in anything for some extra flavor. Then it's ready to go. You don't have to Well, see, this whole branch fell off here. This plant here might be done. So I'll grab these little ones. I'll give this one to my chickens and these greens. They will enjoy that. Wow, this one has a lot of nice yellow ones here. That's huge. I should have a bigger basket. Guess I'll have to come back and get the ones that won't fit. Two trips. Alright, this is my last plant here. Alright, that's all of them. 
so I have this tile right here. I'll have to come back for and then an overflowing basket. Let's bring them inside. All right, I thought while I was out here, I'd go ahead and grab these big green onions, bring them inside, and I can chop them up and put them in the freezer too. Or what I really like to make with the, the tops of these onions is a, an onion top pesto. It's so good. You can put it on pasta or you can put it on um, toast. I like it with on toast with some egg. I think I'll leave that little one there. still have some that are still growing in all the way down the road there so we'll have more soon all right you guys I got all the bell peppers in I did not wash them I'm just gonna leave them on my counter and see if they can finish uh, changing colors into yellow uh, when I went out to get the ones that I couldn't fit in the basket I ended up just going ahead and picking the ones that were about this size also so most of the bell peppers are off the plant now. There's a couple little ones, but I think the plants are just about done. And these are the plants that I had put in the ground in March of 2021. And it's now the middle of December and I'm still getting all these bell peppers here. So, and I've been picking them as I go, as I need them for any recipes. And I have two and a half gallon size freezer bags full of chopped bell peppers already in my freezer. So this is wonderful. Uh, I feel so blessed to have um, this bounty here. I have never been able to, to grow bell peppers as well. So let me tell you, I definitely save seed. And here are the green onions that I picked. I just took the roots off and the dirt. I'm not gonna wash them. I'm gonna wrap them up in a damp towel and put them in my crisper in my refrigerator and they'll stay like that for a little bit, but I am gonna make some onion top pesto. Um, and I'll do that in a different video and show you guys how I do that. It's it's better than basil pesto, it's, it's wonderful. And here I have my crock pot going too, I'm making a little pot roast with some of my potatoes I grew and some carrots that I bought and um, a sirloin tip roast from our local beef that we buy. So dinner is ready. I love that. It is the best. So I'm just gonna let these sit here. I may move them off my counter um, into a box uh, somewhere in the other room out of the way, but ah, oh, so thankful. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the chopper I was talking about earlier. Uh, this is the chopper I use. Um, I got it on Amazon. I can put the link in the description box if you're interested. I'm not going to video me doing this. This will take a very long time. But basically, I just cut the bell pepper in half and take out the insides. And I put that in my compost or I give it to my chickens or the pigs. And um, then I take the half of bell pepper and then I just put it right here. And then you just bring that down and it collects it into there and there's measurements. And then I'll dump that when it gets full into a gallon Ziploc. That'll probably be... Quite a few over there or there's like a different size here one that you can do different sizes you just take this off and you can put this right in here like if you want to do smaller dices and then you just and it's so cool but don't touch that with your fingers it's really sharp so I hope you guys like this um, I really would appreciate it if you share my videos with any of your friends or family that you think that would enjoy this um, I would appreciate it. Thank you.